everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. Today we're going to have a look at the command center and figure out what mission we're going to take. Um, we've got a pretty good lance running now, so I mean we could take a destroy base. I think we, maybe we take this two skull wolf mission. Lance some diamond shark mechs have been rampaging. Terrorists, no escape, probably two lances maybe at two skulls. It's actually a good payment, so... Let's go ahead and take that. Actually, before we do that, let's look in the barracks and see what our pilots are are doing and see if we got some skills to rank up. So I'm going to go through with them all, actually. So China Doll is still waiting to rank up. I'm here. Derby's good. Dragon. Um, okay, we already got a point in gunnery. Long shots for Lance, too, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Training complete. Um, just so I don't forget. Look out. No. Okay, Smirk, how are you doing? You've got a bit of points left, but I think we're going to wait and keep going gunnery. What's up, boss? All right, Sourbug's fine. Commander? Thunder's fine. Hey. Tugboat is fine. Getting more XP. The last point that we got, I just dropped it in the gunnery. Uh, Virago aye, aye. should be... Oh, good for gunnery now. Take that. Training confirmed, Commander. And then, uh, who do we have left? Wrangler? Yes, Commander. And you're good, too. Got gunnery at six. Okay, good. Let's take that mission now. So we gotta, we're going to have a second lance running, too. To be able to pull off more missions per month. And now now that we have that, we'll be able to generate more sea bills. Now, I might take the second lance out for the first little bit. Just to do like a bunch of half skull knockoff missions to generate sea bills. And I'll probably just sell everything that I get from those. Um, I might keep a few mech parts depending on what they are. But I might just sell everything. Just so that we're generating sea bills. So we can actually add a second dropship and things like that. Um... I always find it in, difficult in a series to weigh, like I always want, want to go for gear, but then we never have any money to advance. We get to a certain point and we can't advance. But uh, anyway, that being said, let's just go ahead and take this mission today. Uh, full salvage, of course. We're doing okay for sea bills. So let's uh, clear this. And then Lance A, we're going to go, oops, we want to load... Royals. And then we want to change this. So the Mislinx is coming out. The Adder is coming out. And we're bringing down the Clint. And the Viper. And then we're going to bring down uh, Derby. We can save this as the Royals. Yeah, let's just do it properly. There's nothing that sets me off more than people just constantly using all caps. It's just it anyway. All caps have got their place, but just constantly using all caps to name everything just drives me insane. Anyway, let's confirm that. So that should uh, be fine now. Anyway, let's go. Command interface initiated. Alright, here we go. Stand up fight. Me against them. And they got two lances. And I don't. This whole planet could use an air conditioner. Oh man, it totally could, and they have the high ground. Hmm. How do I want to play this one? Man, I don't know. If we start here, we can hopefully split their forces up so some will go one way, some will go the other way, and then we can just take on half, I don't know, half at a time. We don't have the same. Ah, oh, man, really. Yes, Commander. Oh, God. This is not an ideal map. All right. Hellion, Thorn, Adder. Okay, at least we're dealing with, like, a lot of another Viper. A little bit lighter mechs. Ready for orders. What do we got over here? 
spat of it. They are spread out. There's a bunch down here. I mean, we could try and capitalize and kill these guys, but then we might be exposing to a counterattack from here up, or up here. Or we could go this way, try and clear out the handful of units that are over here, and then try and make a line across, like try and take the high ground. I think of the two, I favor that one a little more, although I'm going to reserve here. I don't mind losing a bit of an issue about the start, only because um, we're going to reserve still. Only because um, the next round, I mean, they can't really see us anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Just want to see what they're up to here. So we can only see like f five of them so far. Oh, we got another mech over here. Probably the LRM adder. I'm not mistaken. Receiving you. All right, it's time to start moving. I think. Let's get up here. Firm. Decided to go with the white camouflage today. Yeah, we go this way. It's gonna make the most sense. Oh, it's a storm crow. Okay. A little more armor, but uh, should be enough to kill pretty quickly. Ooh, they got a lot of indirect today. Don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And they're going to pummel my vehicles. Ooh, what do we got back here? Shadow Cat? Commander. I like the on speed on this Double thing. Time. What are we looking at for evasion? Four? Alright, not bad. Receiving you. All right, let's go to here. I think this is going to be a storm crow attack. We'll just take a quick look here. Twenty nine. Ooh, six really, eh? Nineteen on the viper. Four. Two point nine. Four. All right, looks like it's going to be you. Ten points. Doesn't look like he's got a lot of armor. 317. That should be a relatively easy kill once we get, get around to finding him. Pummel him at Zoria. Confirmed. Gotta watch this guy coming around the corner. I think there's a bit of a hill here, though. Yeah, so I don't think he can see me. What's our chance to hit here? We got 12 turns of firing. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. Going to hold off. I don't know when I'm going to use that thumper yet either. I mean, I could have taken a pot shot back here, but... There's going to be a better opportunity that presents itself, I know. The Zoria, man. I'm feeling Zoria for the Zoria. Let's get some speed going and get some evasion going. Let's get around to here. Pedal to the metal. Take a pot shot that's that bit again, I think. It's going to be our best option. Probably 21% is not bad. Alright, we got one. One less than we should have got at 21%, but... Let's go with field command, so at least next turn we get a bit better initiative. As fast as we can this way. The big difference between this fight and the last one that we fought against the two lances is that uh, we've got more armor now because we don't have the uh, Miss Lynx and the Adder. We've got another, what, 15, 25 tons of armor, which is nice. That plus the fact that these guys are a little lighter. I'm a little less worried. Okay, we got two mechs down here. What was that? That was somebody moving. So I don't know if he's up here or where yeah see they're gonna start to head towards the high ground what now
There's a hill there too, eh? Tell you what. Not in a rush. Our initiative's already tanked anyway this turn, so... I should have just held off using the uh, field command, but not a big deal. I'm interested to see where that storm crow goes, though. Okay. Just hold on. That sounded like a vehicle moving? That sounds like a vehicle moving? Ah, just hang on. Good to go. No sense moving if we can't shoot at somebody, only to have them move and, and get a shot on us. Same thing. Gonna camp here until I see an opening. Yeah, we got an opening coming in a second here. Hopefully the Svantovit or the uh, Storm Coral move to a position that we can just uh, we can just give it to them then. It's going to become an issue. It's already becoming an issue. God, when is that Stormcrow going? Man, they got a lot of LRMs. That's the Thorn. I sold our two thorns, by the way, just in case you're wondering why you didn't see them in the storage anymore. We're never going to go back to them, so there's no point in keeping them. That, plus I was having a difficulty making that financial report. I ended up having to sell one of our two Klein XL engines. Oh, he's going the other way. That's interesting. Minefield. Now I wonder if I made the wrong choice. No, because they're going to get the high ground. If, if I let them have the high ground, we're in trouble. Hey. Got to go as fast as we can here. We've got to start landing some shots. What can I do for you? I mean, I guess the massive benefit is is that maybe they lose okay there's sensors it's not going them unless we have to Got it. Max speed, no shooting. the benefit is is maybe they run out of lrms before they do too much damage Roger, Commander. I've got the shot. maybe i don't know standing by Roger. Guy still has like no real movement. Orders. Wish I could use waypoints while running, but whatever. It's fine. Orders. Thirty-four sensors, eh? Moving out. That's a little better. Good thing we got lots of speed. We can walk a good distance. Okay, hang there. You. Yeah, it's going to be a slow battle. 166 sensors. Whatever. Let's move. Tony sensors. Yep. They know where you are. Enemy out Bring in the pain. Well, at least we're in strike distance now. That uh, spant of it. If we got the initiative on them, then we can we can at least take it. Okay, that I don't know what that was, but I'm somebody moving back there. It's 
not explore to that storm crawl unless we have to. Let's go here. Maybe we can get him to come back around. Do I want to go all out on this guy? Probably. See if we can get an early kill. Yep. Target pacified. We drew first blood. Striker 2C. I hope they run out of LRM ammo. That would be really nice. Got something you want done? It just means at that point that they had weapons that they had that they uh Let's go after that guy. That they were had absolutely no use for, so it's like Matt originally lost a tonnage, you know? Alright, 28% with the uh Thunderbolt is not enough to take a shot with it. Ooh, okay, nice. Hey, two hits, nice. Take it. We shall take it. Now, I gotta remember that both the Sentinel and the Wavern are good from distance. They got the extra plus two bonus from long and extreme. They're terrible from close up, so I can't really close with them. Here comes the Viper. Ooh, it's the Peep Viper, eh? Alright. We got lots of shit coming up, so. I think that's... The Stormcore, I think, has got probably ER large, two ER mediums, and two LRM 15s, if I was to guess. Ooh! Goss rifles. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> Helping us out again. I hear you. In this match, too. Uh, I know exposing like this is a bad idea, but... Ah, God, I really want to do it, though. Tell you what. Let's get into here. That puts us in a good position next turn to move out and fire at somebody. 14 on the Viper, 12. Let's go up to the Viper. Small Pulse, Flamer, and an ERPPC. Stormcrow's got, what, large, two ER medium. Oh, it was supposed to have two larges. It's actually not a bad loadout and a pretty good armor. I think he's more of a threat, so let's Time fire at him die. instead. How much armor did that Viper have? It's only, f what, was it 500 and something before? 649. I'm not bad. What's this guy? Huntsman. Stormcrow's running. Which means he's leaving the, the Viper... He's hanging the Viper out to dry. If we can kill the Viper within one or two turns, Shadow Cat should go down pretty quick, I think. Yeah, you keep shooting at him and keep missing. I'm cool with that. I'm cool like that. I'm smooth like that. Standing by. I run like that. I roll like that. This Wavern is slow like that. There we go. Finally getting into battle here. Say hello to my little friends. I mean, I guess the benefit of shooting all of that is increased chance of head hits. Ready for orders. Get into here. Hunter's got okay armor, so if they shoot at him for a turn, I'm not I'm not worried about it. We're gonna fire at this guy. On it. That was terrible. What no? Let's get up here. Okay. I'm going from the front because I want to take the chance of trying to hit this torso here. Okay, a couple hits on the torso, but not enough. Engine crit, head hit. Maybe things are looking up. Alright, not bad. 
definitely severely hampering this guy's ability to fight. Plus, he's in fire, so that helps. Orders. All right, well, it's that guy's turn. Gonna deny him the ridge up here. Ooh, that's hot. But we're gonna take it. Ooh, I'm loving the loadout in this thing. Another head hit. I'm actually liking the AP Goss ones better than the mag shots. All right, we stopped them from keeping that hill. It's ours now. Um, let's go to here. I copy. I want this ramp. This is my ramp now. All right, feeling pretty good. These guys are a little slow getting up behind me, so I'm not worried about them right now. That's the huntsman. That's the thorn. Striker 2C. There's another mech back there. Starts off with a damaged side. Ballistic and two missile. Ah, oh, Nighthawk. Okay. Large and two mediums, I think. Receiving you. you back in a fire support position. Let's keep on... Well, the Viper's not that great, is it? 14 on the Striker. Huntsman. Nope. 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 12. 10 on the storm crow. What was it on the other one? 14 on the striker. Sure. Confirmed. Firing. All right, not bad. I mean, the damage was garbage, but at least we hit him. 16 points. 16 less points I have to worry about next turn. So they got one and a half to one odds on me here. You're going on eight. Really hoping those are just sensors. I'm pretty sure they are, but still. Yeah, waste as much of that ammo as you want. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Zoria is slowly losing armor, but I'm going to try and keep it in the trees as much as I can here. Um, let's go after this guy. Got it. I was thinking about shooting at the Viper, but he doesn't have the uh, exposed torso facing towards huh? me, so I would prefer not even bothering. Ready for orders. Full speed. That's a side shot. Damn. Okay. What's my percentage? 2%? Yeah, it's uh, just not. Let's just not and say we did. Man, the Viper's so slow. Or the uh, Wavering's so slow. a battle for the top of the building here. No retreat. Hey. We're going to take a turn to cool off. I'll, will you, I'll use my initiative next turn. I just saw it flash there when I just hit brace, so... Hellion? Okay. Use up that ammo, Bubba. Use it up. I don't mind.
Who that? Who next? Two fifteens. Nighthawk. All right, you do you, buddy. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to chase that guy down probably. Gonna have to chase him down. Ooh, the thorns moving up. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Love and Thunder, let's get over here. You betcha. I think I've got the proper stuff facing the enemy. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Same guy. All right, a little bit of damage. Hit with more than I thought I would, so I'm okay with that. Commander. 114 sensors. Well, it was an LRM-15, so... I know I'm here. Obvious target times 13. So you could say I'm a super obvious target. Thorn. Ooh, Viper's coming back for some, eh? I'm shocked he's only using that, though. He's pretty much giving himself to us, though. Our Viper's going to kill him, I think. Or at least take his side. Yeah, they definitely want my vehicles. Three hits. Commander. It's too bad that we're so overheated here. Okay, let's drop these. That should drop a fair amount of heat. We'll fire all these guys on them, though. No crits, but we did take a jump jet out. Well, I guess technically that would be a crit. Ooh, he's almost lost his side. Of course. I'm still- I still want them to give an option to remove melee. That and- and elementals. Receiving you. Th those are really the only two things I don't like about Rogue Tech. No Everything shit. else I'm just cool with, but... I just don't- either of the mechanics I don't agree with either of them, so... Like how they're implemented, that's all. I'm gonna keep that off. To reduce heat, we'll fire the rest though. Roger. Okay, engine crit. Reporting. Critical hit. At least then if you, if you remove melee and you remove the uh, the battle armor, then really it's because, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, why wouldn't you melee, like, every single turn? Standing by. Or try attempt to kick an enemy every single turn, as opposed to, like, shooting them? Heading out. But the whole point of, like, putting a ton of weapons on your mech is so that you can shoot somebody, you know? Engaging it's just the way I feel about it. Like, I should have moved around to the front of that guy. I could have got that torso, but whatever. I'm trying to get get a little bit of, little bit of a flank on to discourage them from taking that hill. No, you're getting outflanked, dude. And the battle armor, while interesting, it's like... For me, it just slows the game down. Oh man, you don't get to run in... And then run out and think nothing's gonna happen to you. That's not how this game is played. You don't get to do that. He's got to pay. Okay, we're going on to what? 16, 16. Gonna go with you first. What now? Actually, let's go with... 
you first. Okay. To there. Give it to this guy. Thinks he can just run in and take a melee attack at me and run away? Are you kidding? That's not how this game works. You don't get a free attack like that. Not today. We're oh, coming back for the fight. Ah, shit. There goes the Zoria. I guess they got tired of shooting at it long range. <laughs> and they're like, nope, fuck that. I'm here. That guy's got to go. You know who else has to go? This fucking Viper, or not the Stormcrow. Where is he? Viper, switch targets. Come on. This guy's got to go. Using everything on him. There you go. Mech destroyed. Ready for orders. Can I get a solid line anywhere? I cannot. Let's just move over here and uh, show this guy over here that we've got pretty much the same loadout that he does. Hey buddy, we got the same loadout pretty much. Except your laser's hit and mine don't. I've got the, uh, what are they called? The, um, I got the misfire laser. Actually, you know what it is? Somewhere in the line, along the line, a piece of dirt got in, or a piece of glass got into the, uh, into the nozzle of the laser, and every time it fires, it just deflects it ever so slightly. That's why I can't hit. It's like, I, mean, I know I'm targeting the guy. I don't know why it's not hitting him. Guess I should talk to Yang about that. Fucking clean, clean the lasers, you goddamn bastard. Waiting for orders. All right, Smirk. That's a little too close. Ah, oh, shit, we can't get him that way. Let's not position you directly behind anybody. Oof, that's a nice chance to hit. Let's get up here. So that's better. Let's go after the threat. Copy that. I thought about using the one shot, but then I'm like, ah, or the uh, th the um, thunderbolt. But I'm like, eh, 54. It's not bad, but I would let it rather be up around 70 before using it. It's a lot of money you'll never get back. Hey, okay. receiving you. A lot of money you'll never get back. On it. Now the question is, go here. Should we shoot the shadow cat? Twenty-four, twenty-seven. It's only marginally better, but the shadow cat's already taking a bunch of damage, so we might get some components here if we fire at him. Nothing at all. Wow. Well, thanks for showing up. That's the adder. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Eight against five, still one and a half to one. Oh, he's got two large lasers. Minimal damage on that hit. Ready to get it on. Yeah, minimal damage, but he still damaged you. That's a little better. Move order received. You know what? Let's take this. This is a guy that's got to go away, so let's take the 60% chance. Affirmative. Yes, nice. Everything hit. 
When this guy hits, he hits. Even if he hits our guys, <laughs> he still hits. He's like, I'm going to miss the enemy. I might as well shoot my own guy in the back so I keep my my, my hit chance up high. My, my What is it? Shot per, uh, per hit chance is high. Hey. Okay, let's go. Let's get up here. We know who the real threat is. We gotta go after this guy. Couldn't shoot that torso, huh? Oh, I take it back. That looked like a critical hit. <laughs> I don't even know why I talk. Why why even bother saying anything? Yeah, you run. You run away. Our Viper doesn't go before him though. But he needs to cool off anyway. Yep. Keep throwing large chunks of budget at that guy. You know, you're better off just mailing us the C bills. Just say, you know, I was gonna shoot, you know, three three hundred uh, missiles at you. I know they're all gonna miss, so here's just the money for it. Just pretend like you took damage and use the money to pretend like you're repairing your mech. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna move still. We're gonna need to head back this way in a minute anyway, I think. I don't think this guy's gonna take the upper upper platform with everybody else. Locking on top. Yeah, you don't shoot one of my guys and get away with it. Take that. Yep, you just decide to go that way. Yes, Commander. Ooh, I gotta go down the ramp to get those guys, huh? Gonna drop some heat this turn. Not gonna expose. Ready for orders. Exposing is a bad idea. Let's get in the trees. Still giving these guys something to shoot for, and we're gonna go after. So you're facing me. Two percent. I don't even know where the damage is on that guy. 12% on this guy. Let's just fire. Alright, a little bit more. Ooh. Is that ATMs? ATM 6, ATM 9, and AMS. That's actually not a bad loadout. ATM 15? Are you kidding me? That guy's got a pretty good loadout, too. He's got pretty good armor, too, from what I remember. Nighthawk? 500 and something? Oof. I don't like how this is going. Yeah, neither do I. That was an AC-10, man. LBX-10. And an ERPPC? Are you shitting me? He's got to go away. 800 and something armor. Good to go. I thought the Huntsman was 40 tons. That's uh, my bad I for uh, underestimating that mech. OK, 
Okay, good shots. Scored a critical hit. Should be able to kill that guy this turn. If you say so. Should be able to kill that guy this turn. Now, I'm not going to go crazy on him with you. I'm going to drop a bit of heat. So he's pretty much done this turn, I think. I think the Wavering... I was going to move the Wavering back a bit, but i got to move him up. He's got to get up here. I've got an enemy flanking to the side. You certainly do. Receiving you. That's all I can do. I just get to there. That's my heat level. That's why. That's my heat level. That should uh, solve my heat problem. I think this turn. Got it. And, sh and it will also solve my, my Shadow Cat problem, I think. And that should be it. He should be out cold now. Oh, he resisted the injury, but then bailed out. Standing by. Keep the pressure on the damage guy. We're not going to score much from there. Hopefully not moving will attract the other guys to shoot at him, though. Probably not. He's probably going to shoot this guy. Nope. Okay, good. The hunter can take it. Commander. This is exposing too much. Mm. They're in good positions here. Your armor is still pretty good. Let's get into here. That's pretty low, eh? 25 on that guy. A little bit less on this. Pretty good armor. I mean, he's the guy I should really be shooting for. But let's go after this guy. We have better chances to hit. We can strip some armor, I think. Alright, not bad. At least he knows we're here, though. Who do we have left? Is that our last move? I think so. I think that was our last move for this turn. Oh, he's come back to die. Get that last 55 points damage in. Before he bails out, sure. Now, question. Don't we already have stone cart Stormcrow parts? I thought we did. I thought we faced the Stormcrow before. Fuck off, you and your ATMs. KTB. Standing by. I don't know how I feel about this. They got collected guns, and I don't like that. That Huntsman can come up there at any time. Those ATMs, man. If that striker was anything else but ATMs... Uh, I'm gonna just plink this guy. We're gonna drop some more heat. 
engaging. Maybe we try and chase him off. My wavering is really out of position. I'm glad I dropped that little bit of heat, but it's only going to get us partially up this ramp. We need to be up here. Ready for orders. Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay. Aye, aye. Him, ha him not having jumped yet is also pro uh, a um, hindrance, but I don't mind it too, too much. That's the Nighthawk. Wow, a whole lot of nothing. I don't even know why I shot. Not having much luck with uh, indirect fire lately. Apparently, neither are they. Ready for orders. God, you're hurting too. On my way. Don't like this at all. Target locked. No time. Okay, nice. Goes the Target. whole right side. Health two or three. One or three. Get behind Moving here. To position. Okay, he's put himself. I guess that guy's not in my field of sight there. There we go. I think his weapon's here. Actually, let's try and plink his head. If we do, he's gone. Aye, aye. Super hard, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, they're using so much. But those guys had just targeted my max at the top. It would have been so bad for me. But we gotta like bum rush that huntsman now. Yes, Commander. I don't know when he goes either. We're all pretty damn fast, so I'm thinking that we just do it. If we're gonna do it, we do it. That. Don't like this, but this guy has got to go, and he's got to go now. Affirmative. All right, gets a good start. Standing by. Do I not have a way to get a direct line of sight on this guy here? I do not. God damn it, that's that's bad. Got it. We do have this. Attacking from position. Okay, that helps a little bit. Black on AC ten ammo. That's all right. He's going on nineteen though. Ooh, he's taking a hell of a lot of CT damage. Ooh, that could have been so much worse. We got the sneaky viper coming here in a second. Waiting for orders. Uh, we can't really close with them. Coordinates received. Can't really close with them. 
That Thunderbolt's too low Locking, to target. take the shot. That's nice. He's open now. Probably CT. No, torso. That's okay. We got to, uh, we got the Viper. And then I'll plink him with the, uh, with the Hunter. They really want to score another victory, and they think the Hunter's the way to do it. Commander. That low a chance to hit, huh? On the move. That's actually really good. Solid connection, that one. All right, well, not bad. Hope we should get initiative before him next turn, and we'll just finish him off. Shit, he's got direct line of sight now. Ooh, I wonder if he's out of ammo. He could be out of LRM ammo. They don't carry all that much. Receiving you. Confirmed. And if he is, then we'll just hide back here and he can't shoot us. We will target... 19... This guy. Try for that head hit again. Roger. Nope. Okay. You still got LRMs, though. But you haven't been shooting as much as the Hillian, so... Who's up? We go on 23. Oh, the Striker. Has to go on 8, right? He's running. Chicken! Yes, Commander. Good to go. All of a sudden, our chance to hit has gone into the shitter, but we're going to fire everything anyway. Yeah, fuck you. Mech destroyed. Ready for orders. Thought you could show up here and fight us. You've got Position another thing confirmed. coming! Wavering's still got all of its armor, which is really nice. Had a bit of heat, but we'll fire everything at this guy. Ooh, nice. Yes, Commander. The big one always seems to hit when we really don't need it to hit all that much. Acknowledged. Now that he's unstable, though. One shot's at 34. Ooh, he's going on 18. When do we go? 19? Ninety at the back. We, if we get lucky, we'd kill that guy. But let's just hold off and just shoot this guy and get Fire. rid of him. Right here. Like that. Wait. That's no. That's right. Okay. Just trying to figure out sides. Here we go. Locking in target. There we go. He's definitely in a sphere Pass XL. We're in mop up mode now. Four guys left. One of them's on the ground. Yeah, it was. If if they had taken this, and we had gone this way, like around the back. Yeah, you're finally switching targets. You you know what you know the score. If we had gone around the back, standing by, we'd have been in a lot of trouble. Roger. All right, so we can shift, click these guys. We're just going to go to five. Attacking from position. They got AMS, or no, they don't have AMS.
You're out of range, buddy. Indicator shows minimal damage. Don't always trust the Standing indicators. By. Left side, right side. How are we doing back? Pretty good. Gonna go like this. On my way. We're gonna drop heat. What's up, boss? Ooh. It's not so good, is it? So left side doesn't really have anything. Wait, no, wait. Left side's our gun, main gun. Damn it! I angled the wrong side to the enemy. Shoot. I copy. Okay, we got one hit on. Order. You need to drop heat as well. Let's back up here. See ya. Got the head. One. Receiving you. Wait, 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 where oh there it is. Okay. Bottle down. Take on this ATM bastard over here. Confirmed. Firing. Okay, the large hit, nice. That's a good range for us. Losing armor. It's all right. It's just a medium laser, buddy. He's got nothing left. Adder still got ammo, though. Not for much longer. I don't think he'll have ammo for much longer. A couple more turns. He didn't fire as often as the Hillian did, though. Thing we stayed in the trees. Ready for but order. it's time to not be here anymore, I think. Yeah, see, they're hitting. The, we're angled the front to them and they're hitting the side. Let's go this way. Understood. Moving fast. Engaging with target. Okay, once the striker's gone, our back will be secured, and we can finish these two up. I can't have the ATMs at my back. It's an ATM-15. That's a lot. Like, if he decided to come up that ramp, we'd be in a big trouble. Systems holding. Good to go. Turn the right side to him. Sure. Not the left side. See if we can get the kill here real quick. Sweet. Nope, the lasers managed to do it. Beautiful. One more for the kill, boys. Two left. I'm out of long range missiles. That's basically an invitation for the adder to smoke me. Let's get down here. Go fast. If we had like four mechs that we're shooting at the adder, then it would be worth it. But we're damaging the CT, and if we pull out like Ready that, that's just an invitation. Uh, high or low? High, I think. Let's go up this way. No shooting, just running. Got it. We should still be doing okay with ammo, though, right? We got four more sh turns of firing. Adder is what? 18? 13 on the Helium? Take the Adder shot. Wow, two hits, huh? Two hits out of 30 at like almost a 20% chance to hit. Should have been at least six. See how bad that would have been if it was direct fire on this Damage guy. Is light. Commander. 
So Adder didn't move, and I can't target you from up here because I guess the Clint is higher in height. I guess it's the only thing I can think of. Copy that. This game is confusing sometimes. Uh, let's just fire one. We got a low chance to hit. At least this way we're not adding any heat. Orders. Come on. There we go. Position confirmed. Confirmed. Drop it on this guy. So Hillian, Hellion, 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 whatever it is, is basically a kit fox, I guess. Okay, see, now you can shoot him. So we got to keep our right side to him. Roger. Kind of right side. That's pretty nice. Okay, three out of four ain't bad. Yes, Commander. Everything on him. Targeting four and alpha strike. Still gotta be careful. These guys Standing can be by. really dangerous. There we go. Nice. Aye, aye. This adder's in a good position for me not to be able to hit him. Aye, aye. Yes, Commander. Let's just try for the kill. That was lousy. Let's have our fingers crossed that that adder is uh, out of LRM ammo. Commander. How are we doing? We got the damaged left side. So whatever we do, we got to put the right side to the enemy. Kind of like that. Give the adder something to shoot for. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Attacking we'll take that shot. Hey, buddy, I'm over here. Let's see what he does. Yeah, a shot against the Viper makes the most sense. Right here. Engaging. Jump jet. <laughs> that sounded about as exciting as that one hex jump. <laughs> I am jumping down now. Uh, don't run. Receiving you. I fucking hate it when they run. Well, it's not true. I keep saying, I love it when you run. Oh, it was green before, and now it's like, really? Engaging with target. Commander. No idea what that would be. So that's our left. Do that. Firing jump jet. Wow, really? Don't got much AP uh, gas ammo left, but let's just fire anyway. That's actually pretty respectable for hits, not bad. Ready for orders. You're not gonna get to do much though, are you? Moving to position. Two more turns of firing. That's terrible. That's a bit better. We'll take that shot. With target. Okay, not bad. We'll get that at her shortly.
Oh, I think he's out of ammo. Finally. Hey, watch the pain, pal. Standing by. Oh, shit, I was gonna go for a back strike, but then I went a little too far. Oh well, we shoot this guy then. We got two turns of firing left firing. as well. Yes, Commander. How badly damaged are you? That's the left. Wait, left side, which is this side. I don't fucking know. Twenty percent. Good to go. Sure. Does this guy have no weapons left? He's still got one energy. I guess he's just decided to call it for the day. His mom's called him and told him dinner's ready, so he's decided to go home. I don't know. That's going to hurt. Standing by. Let's take that. I know we're really damaged here, but this guy's only got small lasers left. Let's just see what we can get here. Okay, not bad. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. How is that everybody else is green and you're not? Let's try for a back strike. Come on. Guy's gonna get away. Rear armor it's gonna make me freaking chase him down. Stand and fight for Christ's sake. I don't feel like chasing you all the way across the map board. Who is it now? The Adder. Okay. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. Shit or get off the pot. <sighs> okay. Ooh, that's not bad. A little too close for our predator targeting system, but it's fine. We'll take the shot. Of course, we missed with the big one. Scored a critical hit. I'm out of long range missiles. That's all right. He's almost done. Wow, man. I never thought this match would go to the point where the enemy dies because they have no ammo left. But we're taking it. It's a win no matter what. Lesson in inter in, in, uh... Well, that guy's gone. Lesson in ammunition conservation is what that is. Now we're stuck up here. Roger. Full speed. Now we're stuck up here. Yes, Commander. Um, apparently you can't, uh... Oh, we just jumped there. I regret this. And now we can run down the other side. Order. You... Get down here. Receiving you. Alright, you can be the eye in the sky. Confirmed. I didn't move the hunter because I want this guy to shoot for him. We'll see what happens. Yep. Shot from the side, hit the front. Even if that's not a thing, it sure seems that way. <laughs> You're out of ammo, you just can just brace it there. Roger. Standing by. I think I can have 261 sensors on you. It's fine. That's a lot of sensors. Let's uh, use this first. And then use this. Okay, firing everything. Come 
Come on, just give that up, buddy. Like a critical hit. Nope. Gonna stick around, are you? With that medium laser of yours. Three LRM 10s and a medium laser. It's not bad. Plus AMS. I'll hand it to him. He didn't run. I mean, of course, there was like, what, two or three turns there, but he was doing nothing, but still. You didn't run, you stayed, and you died horribly. Commander. Moving to position. What's up, my friend? Hey, see the Viper we put together? Give it everything I've got. It's pretty cool, eh? One less target. All right, there we go. Mission successful. Well, that's not too bad, 400,000. We took a bunch of damage, though. I took a lot longer than I expected it to. The Zoria went down. Hopefully we didn't lose it. But I didn't I didn't foresee that Storm Crow cresting the hill and taking it out like it did. But there's not much I can do about that now, unfortunately. All right, let's have a look what we got here. We got f the ability to take four pieces. So the Adder we could take... Shadowcat, Stormcrow. You know what? Let's go with the Stormcrow parts. We want to start upping our tonnage. I mean, we could go with the Shadowcat. I think we do have a Shadowcat part or two parts. But I want to start upping our tonnage a bit, so I think I'm going to go with that. The Viper parts would be nice. The ATMs would be really nice. ER large, mediums, PPCs we got. Oh boy, here we go. Do I start taking some clan LRMs? There's the good question. So we've only got one LRM boat right now. But having a second one, coolant flush, it might be worth it. Clan XLs, there's another exchange or minus 10% weapon heat this time. Oh boy. We need a double. We've got one double heat sink kit. What we don't have is clan double heat sinks. Um. So he did have thunder ammo that he never used. Or somebody did. I'm thinking it was a storm crawl. Probably just didn't have a chance to use it. So no good headgear. I mean, we could take an XL engine. So the storm crow, I think. I thought it had a bigger engine than what it had. What, Maybe. I don't know. Thought it was like a 330, but it might be a 270. Ooh, I really want to take Clan LRMs, though. Right now, I've been not using LRMs specifically because we don't have enough. Like, there's no point in putting on LRMs when you're in Clan space unless you're using Clan LRMs. Hmm... Though the ATM-9, that's like 7 tons though, right? 5 tons. Not too bad, I guess. When using HE -H -E ammo though, this thing is deadly, right? It's like 108 damage if you hit with everything. Plus the bonus accuracy. For 5 tons, it's pretty cheap and 18 heat. That's if you hit. But then when you're getting... Plus one direct fire accuracy, plus one accuracy with the weapon, and one evasion pip ignored. It's like super, like super great chance to hit. There's 
We don't have any ammo for it though, that's the problem. If we're gonna take the launcher, we gotta take ammo. Do I drop a Stormcrow part? I can't drop the exchanger. I can't do it. Let's drop a Stormcrow part. We'll keep one. Because I can make use of this for sure. You know, the exchanger is a no brainer. I mean, Clan XL engines would be nice for. But we've already got one still that we're not using. And a lot of the newer mechs that we're getting are clan mechs. So they're all omnis and I don't need the XL engine. Okay, let's go. Alright, Hellion part, Huntsman part, that's kind of nice. Shadowcat Prime part, cool. So we can put together a Shadowcat now. Stormcrow, one Stormcrow. Striker two part, Thorn part can go. Viper part's nice, we lost the Zoria. Damn it! Well, not much I can do about that. Case 2 clan will keep. Cool and flush will definitely keep. The 210 core, we have two of them, so we can sell that one. The 330, we don't have any, we'll keep it. We got the heat sinks. Cool, we really needed those. Got 16 regular double heat sinks, but we can sell those too, I guess. Don't need those jump jets. Jump jets sold for a good amount, eh? Double LRM ammo we'll hang on to. Okay, so that's actually not a bad roll at all, except for the fact we lost the Zoria. I can't remember if we have a part in storage. We might, but we'll see. Yeah, well, at least we didn't lose the pilot. 78,000 in 15 days. Not bad for a mission like that. I mean, it was 10 versus 6. So, I mean, I can't really complain. And if we get if we cancel the vehicles out there two of my two, then it's tech we we were at tech technically 2 to 1 odds. So, I mean, we did pretty well. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. I think we bring forward that well, shadow cat. Pick, I'm interested to see I mean, it's 45 tons, and it's an Omni, so... Now, do we have any Stormcrow parts? We did not. I thought we did, but it's probably the um, Inheritance playthrough I'm thinking of. So we do have the Shadowcat. The D version is the what? ER Large, 3 Medium Pulse, Streak SRM-6, ER Small, and 2 Machine Guns. Which isn't bad. And this guy was the Goss Rifle version. <sighs> Smaller ER mediums. Active probe. Why would you put a Goss Rifle on a... A mech used to detect hidden, like making it a capable, capable scout. Wouldn't you want to have closer range weapons for that? Like you've got to get into a certain range. Honestly, I think this version is probably better for all the stuff that we might get from it. The Streak Six would be nice. Um, because I'm thinking, I don't know how fast this thing is. Um, doesn't say. There's no way to know. Just got one. Cause, I mean, it's destroyed. It's got movement of one, right? So. Because if it's fast enough, if it was carrying a Gauss rifle, we could mount the Ultra 20 on there. Let's ready it. I'm going to go that route. That and confirm. All right, let's see what we get out of this thing. I'm interested to see. We're at two million right now, so if we do refit this guy, just for the sake of argument, we need a clan double heatsink kit. I don't know how fast this guy is. Actually, that's actually pretty good movement. So we definitely need to go with Pharaoh. I probably won't be able to up... Well, I might be able to up the armor a little... I don't know. Maybe not. 
Oh, maybe. No, I won't be able to really. It's really going to be the Ultra 20, and that's about it. I mean, we could go Gauss Rifle on this guy. Because if we go Ultra 20, that can come off. Yeah, we got built-in jump jets and everything, too. I don't think I have Heavy Pharaoh. We'd have to kind of go that route. We have enough heat sinking. Four recoil, 30% jam times two. Now do we have... Yeah, I think we're just, we're stretching it here. Re reduce some recoil. But then we've lost half a ton already. It's got a built-in mass too. Yeah, see this is not really, I mean... You could technically use it as a quick striker, run in, take a couple shots with the Ultra, and then run out. You'd have to max the armor out on the arm, though. And this torso. And whatever else we can get on the back. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not loving it. Do we have heavy uh, Pharaoh? I mean, I don't really want, I don't really want the heavy Pharaoh. Because it doesn't give me case. Whereas Clan Pharaoh does. Yeah, we're kind of like... Stuck. Although this thing does have... Like if we strip the gear off it... Max the armor out... I mean, 13 tons is actually pretty respectable for... Um, Even what we put the clan. Well, let's leave that off. Well, yeah, mm, I don't know. It's actually pretty respectable for uh, the amount of like what 14, 14 and a quarter tons. I can see why if, like people like these things. It's kind of like a, a nice, well-rounded mech, you know. Enough, w enough wait to add some half decent weapons on like you'd want to go with something big and then a bunch of other stuff so maybe like an ER PPC and then we figure out the rest from there but I'm not going to put this to guy together right now we've got a lot of mechs already um Let's just sit him here for now. We're going to go through the financial report. I probably should have waited. We'll go through the financial report. Um, get a bunch of our other mechs back. Uh, we're still out for a fair bit for this for these guys. So these guys can stay out of action. Let's bring the Spectre up though. Because I want to get rid of that. Or get that done first. So we can run that second Lance. I might I might um, play through the second Lance's... Uh, playthrough. We'll take a low skull mission to start. I don't think we have any actual vehicles we can put together, unfortunately. Oh, we do have Zoria parts. Cool. Which version is this? LBX in the mortar. I'm going to put that one together. That mech you asked for is cleared okay, so the Zoria is back in action now with the mortar. That's a little better because I'm thinking that we're hopefully going to have a variety of ammo with the mortar and hopefully it's not small amount. Yeah, we don't really have anything else. I can't just, I don't know why I'm holding on to this. Actually a little bit of money. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave this here I think. I know the Urban Mech is still sitting there. It's probably going to sit there forever. Um, if we can get an arrow system, I might actually put this guy together. I don't know. That's why That's why he's still here. I don't know if I'll do it or not. We. I mean, we already did have an Urban Mech playthrough, which is why I'm not. I'm shying away from Urban Mechs. And it's... it's. Some people like them, some people don't. I don't mind them. I mean, it's basically... A, I mean, once you can swap out the engine, it's basically a 30-ton mech with 160... Or sorry, 360-degree swivel, right? So I don't know why people don't like them so much. 
Like if you leave the engine in and it's really slow, then sure. But with like the proper urban mech with like you know three laser hard points or something like that, you can turn it into a like, you know a respectable mech. You know ERPPC and a couple of lasers and then some heat sinking and jack the engine up so it's got some speed to it. It's not a, for a light mech. The ability to shoot directly behind it too. So if your front armor's damaged, you can just use your back armor and still shoot people behind you. You know, it's, I don't know. From a mechanic standpoint, if you don't look at the, the aesthetics of it, it's actually not that bad, especially since you get the, like the more you pilot it, the, the increased weapon accuracy you get on the one arm. So if you have a nice big laser, like a heavy PPC even, it'd be tough to maintain your speed with a heavy PPC. You'd have to drop the engine a bit, but you know, even a big laser, like even like a, a um, the uh, clan large improved heavy laser on that arm, you know, doing 80 damage, or a um, large X pulse or something like that, right? It could become pretty dangerous as a uh, as a light mech, especially because, like I said, because it can shoot behind it. So even if you sneak behind it, it can still shoot you, right? So anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please, you know, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.